Hello and welcome back to my nostalgic Minecraft series here in Minecraft version beta 1.7.3 uh, Today, as we discussed last episode before my impromptu little break uh, We are going to be making our first underwater construction um, Which is quite difficult in this version of Minecraft, there's a creeper over there Quite difficult in this version of Minecraft, I know it's a lot easier in the current version because there's like potions and that kind of thing that you can use for breathing underwater um, but we're gonna build a kind of dome thing it's gonna start here I've been smelting up a load of glass um, so let's start we're gonna go with uh, let's gonna need to fill that in but we can cross that bridge when we come to it I'm gonna go for like a five wide face and try and avoid drowning which is always good. Drowning is bad for you, don't you know? So I've been told. I suppose it is pretty safe to take the uh, the bucket of water off of our hotbar for now, given uh, we are in fact underwater, so we will not be needing it. This is going to be really boring to watch. I apologise in advance. And I'm probably going to brighten the uh, the video because otherwise it's going to be a bit crap. And now is the point where I find out that I'm totally incompetent and cannot make a, a circle. Because I'm like challenged in various ways. But we shall see. I think uh, it's actually going to be the kind of dome that will actually like come out of the surface. I think that would look the best that I can do at least, because I mean it's going to be a bit mediocre. sound recording is going to be all messed up. Stand by. Okay, we are back. Hopefully you weren't able to actually tell much about my little audio cock up there, but we shall see. I mean, it sounds a lot better for me now. I'm not sure why I didn't notice. I guess I'm just a bit incompetent. Like I was saying, I think I was literally discussing my incompetence. Okay, so we've made our core shape, and let's uh, make it a little bit taller. Okay, and now we're going to put in a little layer of dirt so that we can... Uh, Start on the next layer in so that it's actually kind of a, a dome shape. I think it's probably just going to erupt out of the surface of the sea. Now, do we have enough? No, we don't have enough uh, dirt on us, but that's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can always just go get some more. So we are going to need to fill the entire thing with dirt to remove all of the water that's currently on the inside. Surprised we haven't started to drown yet, but I'll take it. Just need to run and get some more dirt. Okay, so we are back in the water. I've fetched the dirt, like I said I would. Let's just finish off this little layer here. And place the glass on top of it. Wonderful. Now, the question is, do we go for uh, too tall again? Yes, let's. 
as we have pretty much decided it is going to poke out of the top of the sea. Surface of the sea, as opposed to the top. Let's use the correct t Oh, bugger. That was nice. Oh. Ow, drowning. Oh. No, not good. Wouldn't advise. Yeah, as we have pretty much decided, it's going to come out the surface of the sea. We can afford to have it uh, a uniform height on each layer. Let's go to sleep so that we can work in more daylight. And then we'll finish this in the morning. We should be able to get it all, at least the glass, put up in the same episode. Let's just go to sleep and finish in the morning. And we are back at it again with the glass dome. Oh boy, I am aware of how unenthusiastic I'm sounding today. I do want to be here honest. I promise. That pig, however, may become an annoyance. At least I don't have to worry about drowning now that I'm at this level. And I apologise for the jet, you can probably hear in the background. Well, I got used to moving in the water and it being so slow, but now I can walk on the top of the glass. I'm happy. It's so speedy. And too high again. I think I might just grow a tree in the inside here. I'm not sure if I'll access via tunnel from the land or if I'll have to like build a, a dock thing to get up onto the top of the glass and climb inside. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, once we've drained it of water. Okay, we have now run out of uh, oh. glass, so let me just go see if we have any more saved up anywhere. Failing that, we will have to uh, start draining it out and then finish the top of the glass. It's not really a dome to be fair, it's more of a spire. Um, we'll finish that uh, when we get more glass. Do I have any saved? Oh, I've got another 23. Uh, it won't be enough, but let's actually... some more on to smelt so we may have enough it's going to be a bit awkward to climb up here because we need something there something there something there and we're good continue see how far this will get us wow we are very nearly done so while we wait for the uh, rest of the glass to smell. We're going to start filling in the bottom of the dome, which is going to be really tedious and I will not make you watch any of it. However, it seems I have now run out of dirt, which is great, which means I have to uh, build my way up using wood to get back out to get more dirt. Oh well, it's all necessary. Thank God. 
It's going to become a bit of a tedious exercise, this. But it'll look up when it's done. You're like a beacon of hope. That's really cringeworthy, and I wish I hadn't said that. Moving on. Dirt. And that should be enough glass to finish. I've decided I'm going to go for a change of approach. We are going to take it down layer by layer. So I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to dig it out and rinse and repeat. The only reason I'm doing that is it will give us more visible progress. Because obviously I care about visible progress for you guys. So you will next see me when I'm removing this layer of dirt. Okay, as you can now see, we are one block below sea level. So we're just going to continue to dig, or to, I say dig, to place all of this dirt and then dig it back out until we get to the bottom. And we will then be happy with our progress. So uh, I'm going to go a few more before I talk to you any further. There's just no point in just watching me repetitively do this. So I'll see you in a minute. And welcome back. And it seems just as morning breaks, we are, we are done. We are firmly below sea level. I mean, most of the, uh, the structure is actually above sea level, but don't let that distract you from the fact that we are underwater. Um, now I just need to work out how we're going to routinely get in. Um, but for now, it's just going to be a case of uh, pillaring up. Let's just remove this last little bit. And I won't cap it quite yet, because I know we're going to have to uh, put a... Well, we're going to need to get back in in order to put a way out. But for now... Our structure is complete. Marvellous. I'm not going to be putting torches or anything on it or in it uh, until it is done. But once we get back to the shore, let's just go collect our glass out of the furnace. Which won't take long at all. Cook this raw pork chop I've been holding for the entire episode. And we can put the glass back here with the rest of where the glass was. Yeah. We need to start building up our material reserves again. Because we've used most of our... Actually, no, we haven't used most of our dirt. I was lying. That's well. Cook that. Let's put some of the dirt back. We lost a little bit of dirt, but I can handle it. Wonderful. There we are. Nice round stack of 17 stone. So, um, that's the end of the episode. If you liked it, please remember to like down below. If you didn't like it, uh, tell me why in the comments, and if you really must, dislike the video. Uh, if you have any suggestions, once again, use the comments section. I am always listening, I believe. This was uh, either suggested to me in a private message or in the comments, I can't remember, but I'm doing what I was asked, so you can't complain. Um, and if you want to be notified of future episodes in this series, or in fact any other that I choose to make, which I may be working on soon, not Minecraft, so if that tickles your pickle, um, stay tuned for that, um, please do subscribe. So, I've been Pollock, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>